Hello, I'm Dr. McCoy, and this is our patient, uh, Danny Mantis Tabagin. We cannot say his real name due to uh, HIPAA, potential HIPAA violations. Um, he came in with uh, symptoms being an offset gait, uh, early onset arthritis, and uh, back pain. And um, his height, of course, is uh, kind of delayed for what his age is. And he's, as of right now, he's seven years old. And um, yeah. This is Dr. McCoy again, and uh, we needed a CT scan performed to um, diagnose or identify whether this patient had something wrong with uh, his back. And we believe that it may be scoliosis, so we're going to test right now. Hi, I'm Dr. Bees Churger. I'm the radiologist in charge of Danny Toboggan's case. After preliminary testing, we have concluded that further assessment is necessary as the patient has developed club foot later in his life. This is our patient, hey, you said I don't want to know you. Danny Mantis Toboggan. I'm Dr. McCoy. And Danny Mantis Toboggan here came in three years ago experiencing some odd symptoms, some of which were back pain. He was awfully small for his size, but as you can see, he's gotten smaller. Or he hasn't gotten smaller, I mean, he's just, he just hasn't grown as much. And, you know, we decided to do a, T, or a CT scan to see what the back pain was. And, uh, yes, we discovered that our patient here has scoliosis. As you can see, his spine is kind of curved out. It's not okay. So, we are going to put him on uh, some controlled pain medicines. <laughs> um, his blood tests, everything were normal. And uh, all, he has no real new symptoms. Um, his some, some, er, symptoms have just gotten worse. Uh, this is Dr. Seth McCoy. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. It's Dr. Seth McCoy here, and uh, our patient, once again, is back with us at uh, St. Elizabeth Physicians here. Uh, he's now 15 years old, and um, his symptoms just keep getting worse. He just, his scoliosis is a lot more prominent than before. Um, he's, not, he's not having a good time here. He's very emotionally, um, emotionally attacked with how his body is right now. And, uh, you know, he's just feeling a lot of pain. Um, but, you know, something just seems very off. Every time he comes in, he's not very, he's not grown. He's just not. And uh, as you can see, he's a lot smaller. Or he just hasn't grown at all. So, uh, we decided to take another CAT scan. And um, we found something truly amazing that we haven't seen in a very long time. Uh, all of his bone ends are shortened. That's the reason why he's not growing. It's the same disease that uh, Danny DeVito has. And, um, <laughs> and uh, so the problem is that since his bone ends are so small, he's not growing just at all. Just like almost none. And um, so uh, the disease that he has is multiple epiphyseal dysplasia, which is a genetic disease uh, received from birth, and um, he was unfortunate enough to have it. Uh, multiple epiphyseal dysplasia um, is uh, abbreviated by MED or MED, and uh, that's how we're going to be referring to this disease from now on. Uh, one of the ways we can uh, help him here is we can send him to a physical therapist, which we're going to be doing soon, to uh, help with his walking because. His walking has been very off. He's been waddling a lot lately. As you can see, he's just, just waddling. He's <laughs> not doing very good out here. So, um, Mantis, Danny, we're going to get you in good care here at uh, St. Elizabeth. We're going to send you to our best physical therapist. Thank you. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. Dr. Seth McCoy here, and uh, I'm just doing my daily exercises. Um, 
we have our patient here back at it again at St. Elizabeth Physicians, Danny Mason Sabagian. He's now the age of 21 and his uh, symptoms have been getting no better. Uh, in fact, his size right now is around 4 feet uh, 10 inches and um, he's just having a rough time. But with the help of our physical therapist, he's now walking straighter, as you can see. Um, his pain, he's been struggling with that for a while. He's been dealing with it because he's a trooper. Um, but we diagnosed this man with uh, MED last time. So we decided this time to give him some non steroid or steroidal inflammatory drugs, uh, one of them being uh, bucal. And um, it's going to be helping with uh, this whole disease, that's one of the treatments. And um, we also decided that since the disease isn't gonna get any better, and yeah, the physical therapy is helping him and all, uh, we decided to uh, try a new type of surgery. This is very innovative. Um, it's a bone grafting surgery. And uh, it's where you take part of a bone from a different part of the body and uh, attach it to the uh, bone endings so they're longer. And uh, we're going to be sending him to our specialized orthopedic uh, surgeon, uh, Dr. Phillips, and he is going to be performing the surgery.